Welcome to the Jacob Edwards Library in Southbridge. Um, we are broadcasting <coughs> live tonight on Facebook and we will also be uh, uploading uh, our concert this evening at uh, Charlton and Southbridge on the cable TV stations and YouTube later as well. So we thank Drew coming from Charlton from the uh, cable TV station there to help out this evening. That's really much appreciated. So our main order of business tonight, as you can tell, is we have these wonderful plethora of instruments here and all coming from like West African and um, we are so thrilled to welcome back Crocodile River Music and we, you'll see some familiar faces here this evening and you'll also see some new faces. So it's always a pleasure to have a collective who are constantly energizing and uh, changing their lineup. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our band this evening. They're going to be here and it's going to be a very lively evening. So enjoy everybody. So Southbridge, welcome to Southbridge. Thank you for having me back library music at Southbridge Library. library. Mm -hmm. And the first song we're going to do is called Madan. Madan is a welcoming song. So you welcome Crackra River Music and Crackra River Music welcome you to our music. So it will be music participation. And so we play and you also be part of us. So this song is ready. Yakuba is gonna start with the Kora. Yakuba Jabati is from Burkina Faso.
called the Tunga. Tunga. So we, we came from home to Tunga. So if we do, we do good, people will welcome us back to your home. But if you do bad, they will say, no, you know what home is. So this song is about Tunga coming somewhere to be in heaven to do good. in the house it's better than trouble a lot of the song have a meaning but so you have to translate from our native language which is sometimes mandingo sometimes bambara to english we say kaira kaira means happiness it's better than struggle so uh, there's a lot of kind of struggle but we always want happiness in the house. This is Kaira.
So, another one coming. Yes. This one mm -hmm. is called Bani. Bani in Bambara language, you translate in English, it means no. So, yeah. The no have a, you know, the no, it's said because. There's a lot of circumstances you say that yes, okay. honestly, between you and God, you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So they will say, say no at that moment to avoid the negative impact later. So that's the no we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So doing this song, we come up with some message, especially this day. We're sending message out to everyone, the leaders, world leaders, to stop fighting each other, especially Ukraine this day. Yes, we need we need to send message out. We're too small, but if we can be here outside, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. So, fighting either you win or you lose. Both is losing. It's losing. There's no winning in the world. So we want to send message and remind ourselves each and every day to say fighting is not good. Yes. No fighting. So in the song, I'm going to say between a husband and a wife, we're going to say kele mani. So fighting, it's kele mani, it's not good. So you're gonna help us too and say Kele Mani. I would say between the Russia and Ukraine, you say Kele Mani. Between America and Russia, Kele Mani. Between co workers, Kele Mani. Between friend and friend, Kele Mani, right? Between the artists, Kele Mani. So, when it's time, we're gonna say, Kele Mani. Unyo mama de maluche. Kele Mani. Unyo mama de maluche. Kele Mani. Sigi nyoni, sigi nyoche. Kele Mani. Ha, that's it. You see, I'm gonna help them. Oh, yes. Bani. Angata. Hello, Bulu, I'm Kelly. 
This is from an old folk song from uh, Mali, where Isa is from. It's called Yerba. That the people from, uh, the, from Mali, they, they made this song to uh, honor their ancestors. But if you hear the meaning of Yerba, Yeri means a tree. And Ba means big. So we're actually singing about a big tree. Mm -hmm. But this big tree is the most important thing of life. Because the tree gives you food. The tree give you shade. Huh? The tree give you medicine. And the tree been here forever, did listen to every con conversation. Whenever somebody passing through, they sit down in the shed. And every plan they're making, the tree knows it. So this is uh, the tree, the Yerba, it's like a metaphor for our ancestors. You know, we want to honor all our ancestors and show the importance, you know, and the respect. Because losing one ancestor, there is a proverb in Bambara that says, losing one of our ancestors is like uh, you lost a library, you just burned a library. You know, nobody can imagine such things. So we, we want to invite you to join our ancestors, you know? honor our ancestors, show respect. Thank you. This is Yirva. Thank you.
Now, the next song, call it Jalabi. Actually, you uh, know what? It's going to be to Minui. 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 Oh, yeah. Minui. That means Minui. midnight. Midnight. Minui. Midnight. Minui. 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 In my society, uh -huh. we celebrate midnight in many occasions. Wow. Like the end December 31st, mm -hmm. 2021, mm -hmm. to 2022, the first minute and the first 10 minutes, it's like a <laughs> <laughs> So if you go anywhere in midnight in my country, in anywhere I think in the world, the end of the year, midnight, it's a serious, it's a joy new year. And the same thing, one day finish at midnight, next day start at after midnight. So enjoy midnight. She said, maybe we'd take a second to tell them a little bit about some of our instruments before we go to the yeah. next song. See, right. we featured this one. Would you mind just telling them a little bit about what you're playing? Are those coconut shells? Voila. Mm -hmm. This, it's called here, xylophone. In French, we call it balafon. Mm -hmm. Balafon. Yeah. In Susu, 
Balangi. It came from Maninka people in my country. Those are the griots, the storytellers, since back in 12th century. But this instrument, it's the first African science. I want to tell you like that. Built in the frame with bamboo and the calabash golds, like that harp instrument right there. That calabash, we got small ones of it, which fit in different pitches. The biggest one goes with the low keys, the low sound. And the small goals goes with the high pitch. And these goals uh, unbelievably serves these keys as a microphone. It amplifies sound. And if you look at the keys, are made from a special wood. Only one kind of wood called bang. Called what? Bang yiri. It's the most hard wood we use for xylophone or for jimmy that drum there, even for these guys, because it could stay for years and years and years and years, still having it. It's called Maninka Bala, or Balani, or Xalophone. I think Yakuba have another African instrument, which it looks like your instrument here, harp, is great to explain you what is that. This is a plan for human. Any occasion, marriage, naming ceremony, even birthday, any kids, any where people are, this instrument is present because the players have a lot of story to serve you. Enjoy. Thank you, Abu. So we're going to play this song called Gere, which for the longest time, all I knew about it was, oh, it relates to hunters. And we said, okay, this is a song that connects to hunters. And we played the song. And then when COVID came, we had a lot of time where we weren't setting up drums and playing concerts. We had a lot of time where we were doing Zoom calls and things like this. And as we started to dig deeper into it, Issa was saying, you know, it's a little teeny kind of a magical forest creature. And we were looking in some Wikipedia and all that, and we looked at a picture of a leprechaun. He's like, that's it, that's Gere. <laughs> and we realized that there was a commonality between Mali and between Ireland with the same sort of a concept of like a treasure and you have to fight for it. And they have a good side and a bad side. You have to be careful. And the thing I remember you told me was when you were little, your mom would say, don't leave the peanut shells out. Because if you leave the peanut shells, then in the middle of the night, that calls the Gere to come in. They like to collect the peanut shells, so that could be a dangerous thing to do. That was something I remember you shared with us about that. Exactly. Yeah, so this one's called Gere, and it's featuring the Jimbe and the Dundun as the starting point, which is really how we started this whole organization. 11 years ago, it was just East and I together playing Jimbe and Dundun wherever we could, and over this time, we've built ourselves to 13 different people in a collaborative effort, and um, we hope you enjoy Gere. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, you said that is in relation to a harp. I took it to be a, a bass, cello, or violin combination. But it's a harp, too. Yes, it is. And really? Yeah. 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 Very beautiful music. Uh -huh. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
how tight are, how, how tight is your thing? Do you want a hard stop at 7.30? We're or close enough because we have a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. Yeah. So you let's, go, let's go to maybe go. go right to Jarabi, which will give a chance to tell Ted a little bit more about the Quora. That leads into it and we'll end on a nice high note. Before, Before we do, I just want to take a second and say, Margaret has done so much work with us over the years and so much tireless support of bringing arts and culture and supporting groups like ours and also supporting a community like Southbridge. So it's really important to me for everybody who's watching out on YouTube, Facebook and everything else and in this room with us, we've got to give it up for her because she's doing work that makes our society <laughs> It's like a harp, but it's the Africa, Africa harp. Yeah. I, I make this instrument too. It's 21 string. I play only four thinking. Display bass, melody, improvisation at the same time. Now we're gonna play right now. This song called Jarabi. Jarabi is the love song. Now, okay, let's go to Jarabi. Where?
music, and we hope to see you all again in Southbridge and other places too. If you see us anywhere listed out, please come and join us. You're always welcome. We'd love to have people come and be part of it.